fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. It's a bantamweight matchup between Cody Garbrandt and Bruce Lee. Well, this young man has put together a serious win streak. He has paid his dues. He has worked his way up the ranks. And as a result, a UFC Bantamweight title fight comes tonight. This is his first UFC championship opportunity. You know title shots are hard to come by, especially at 135 pounds. We'll see if this young man can make the most of it in a matter of moments. This is his first championship fight. A tremendous amount of pressure on him right now. He is the number one contender, and this is the most important fight of his life. Just about ready to go with this UFC Bantamweight Championship fight as the champ makes the walk here tonight. And he certainly carries with him, Joe, the confidence of being a champion. He has successfully defended the belt now multiple times. The question is, as he gets older and the challenges get stiffer, is he still the number one 135-pound fighter in the world? Odds makers suggest that he is. We'll see what the underdog challenger has for him here tonight. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Tail the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height but big differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you all in the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Hard round for the undisputed USC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, introducing the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting, leading, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Cody.
requires is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very Ready. excited. All right, here we go. The UFC Bantamweight title is on the line right here, right now. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. This fight for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. The number one contender says, I know there's pressure with me tonight. It is my first championship opportunity in the UFC, but he feels like he's put in the time, not just in the gym, but in the UFC. He doesn't believe the moment would be too big for him. We will find out here in short order. Let's see how it plays out. His opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern. Wow! And he turns it around into full guard. Gets into side control. He transitions to full mount. He takes the back. Now he covers up as the hammer fists are coming. Half guard. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Switching stances here. Oh, huge block! How about that shin? Boy, Cody is swimming for the bleachers when he gets those openings. Lands with the knee to the bottom. Hit him oh, hard with that hook. Oh, very nice. Not there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Garbrandt gets the takedown. Under two minutes to go in the round. Right back up to his feet. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. by the inside leg. What head movement by Cody. Beautiful head movement. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Inside leg kick is there by Garber. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Oh, nice. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Garber. Such good movement in there. Really flying. just before you heard the horn, so he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Let's see it one more time. Big round. Brittany Palmer doing fine work, as usual. It's going to be fine. Listen, I need you to keep your hands up. You've been here before. Relax and breathe, okay? Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Well, when you have wrestling chops... Whoa! This fight is dangerously close to being seen. He's got him hurt here. The champion is in big trouble here. He is in danger of losing his title. Oh, Beautiful left, left hand. hand there. Body kick, look at that. Nice takedown. Big body punch. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Now 
the hammer fist here by Cody Garbrandt. And they both stand up. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Straight right is there. Garbrandt gets absolutely punished by that hit. Just misses with the straight right. Nice turning side kick to the body. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Look oh. to the left turn. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. Oh, very nice. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Trying to pass from half guard in the side control. Can't make it. We're back up again. Nice third kick. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. He's doing oh, another one! He's kind of hurt here. And there he swung with the haymaker. How about that chin? Just unable to quite find that range. Garbrandt gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. It appears that cut is getting worse. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 15 shots. Good right hand by Cody. Oh, he hurt him again. Ball goes in and secures the takedown. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste doing work as usual. Ready to fight. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That one hurt. And he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. I like the way he mixed that up here. Well, you got to love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Lee's lower jaw is extremely Big shot to the left. He's hurt bad. to establish that jab. Well, yet again, he goes back to the jab and he lands it. And defensively, this fighter is going to have to figure something out. He continues to lean into his opponent's striking range. He's going to have to stick and move and figure out a way to get his head off the center line. Just out of range wow. with that left hook. Whoa! He is yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Missed the mark. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, nice. Tagged him. Oh, head kick. Well, he just missed out. Oh! Oh, he got clipped there, he got hurt. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Let's go. Let's focus on this fight. Yeah. 
Wow. Huge block there. Trying to oh, he's hurt again. This could be it. Oh, very nice. Into the floor. Oh, he's done again. He's back to his feet. Oh. He's hurt. Seconds to go. 20 seconds left. Oh, that was a hard one. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Oh, great reaction from the crowd as the round comes to an end. Both fighters absorbing a lot of damage there. We'll see who can make the adjustments here for this next round. There's a nice kick to the body. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Here we see a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal. Oh, he nailed it! He's got him right here. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Transitions to full guard. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Good control here. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. How about that chin? Oh, Big nice shot to the left. He's stunned. He's hurt. Oh, you he hurt him bad. Oh, that's it. Wow. 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 Huge knee for the victory. Yeah, Joe, devastating is one way to describe it as the knee knockout comes here in this round. And that's a big stoppage win for him. He was very accurate and precise with his strikes here tonight. And particularly when it comes to that knee strike, you don't have to put a ton of mustard on it to get the desired result. And there is our UFC Bantamweight champion proving tonight that he can get the job done and also get it done with style points as he gets the win by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 35 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times